girl Tiffany and I am back with another segment of In the Kitchen. Today, I will be making for you homemade macaroni and cheese. That's right, homemade macaroni and cheese. Stay tuned. What I will be using today is 2% milk, salt, pepper, mozzarella cheese, Velveeta cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese. That's right, all that cheeses. Some butter and some heavy whipping cream. All right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I have my macaroni here that is now done. I've boiled it off al dente. Now I'm going to add my butter and I have one stick here of salted butter. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So I will just show you once it's in. So there's my stick of butter. I put it in. I'm gonna add my Philadelphia cream cheese next. One um, box, which equals eight ounces. And then, so here is my cream cheese. My butter is almost melted. I've been moving it around on my hot noodles, mixing it up. Now I'm gonna let this cream cheese mix through. And then I'm gonna add my heavy whipping cream next. Heavy whipping cream. All right, and then. So I put my cream cheese in and it's all melted up. Next I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit of regular 2% milk I put in my heavy cream. Also, um, I use the whole thing. I always use the whole thing. It's one pint, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of regular 2% milk, probably about like half a cup, and that's it. Right, and then, guys, so I'm gonna let you see how much regular milk I'm putting in. Just about that much. And then, all right guys, so next I'm going to put in my mozzarella shredded cheese, and then, guys, so this is about how much I put in, and then I'm just gonna stir it up, the macaronis are hot, so it's gonna go ahead and melt it already. I'm gonna make sure I stir it real good. Um, I can't do that with one hand, so I'm gonna stir it up real good, and then right, I'll be guys, back. So I got this all mixed in, and next, you're going to wanna preheat your oven on 350 degrees. What we're gonna do next is take our Velveeta shells and cheese, cheese, not shells, but our Velveeta cheese, and we're going to layer the top with the cheese like a coating I try to use my smaller pieces to fit in the bottom perfectly cut them about that thick don't really matter it's all gonna melt in anyways um, but I go ahead and I layer my cheese on top. It don't matter if it's perfect because I'm gonna end up stirring it in anyways once it's done halfway. Um, and mm -mm, let me get my spoon out. There we go. So this is all of it. This is what it should look like. 350 degrees, about 25 minutes. At 25 minutes, you will take it out. You're gonna stir it up. And then you're gonna put it back in for about another 30 to 35 minutes, depending on how well you like it, how dark. I like my top burnt a little bit, so I keep mine in about 45 minutes because I like my cheese burnt on top but you can leave it as long as you want and then there you go I'll show you when it's finished y'all and I hope you enjoyed watching this segment of in the kitchen and watching my homemade macaroni and cheese I'm gonna also um, put some salt and some pepper on top of here I got my salt and pepper right here and I'm gonna leave it on top because once it's 25 minutes done, then I'm gonna stir it all in and it will stir in with the flavor. So there you go. 
Don't forget to add your salt and pepper, or you can put it on and mix it up before you add your cheese. Do it however you like. But um, I will show you guys when it's finished. All right, y'all. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, do not forget to cover this with foil, because if you don't, you will burn the top of your cheese before you cook the macaronis. Okay? So make sure you cover with foil. All right, then we'll see you in a right, guys. So this is what it looks like at 25 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all up. And right, then, guys, so here it is all mixed up. I'm gonna cover it, put it back in the oven till the top browns. And then, guys, so here is the end of the mac and cheese. It is completely done. Um, if you want yours a little darker, you can burn the top like I'm gonna do. I just wanted to show you when it is finished. And I hope you all enjoyed this segment of In the Kitchen. Guys, try it out. You will see just how delicious and cheesy that it really is. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Delicious. All right, guys. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.